It's a dystopian nightmare. As we continue to launch satellites into orbit, space debris accumulates until, eventually, no spacecraft can exit the atmosphere without being destroyed by a high-speed orbital collision. And so we become trapped on our world, unable to escape as the planet heats up, leading to the eventual end of our species. This is called Kessler Syndrome, and it's not quite as bad as it sounds. The idea, first proposed by Donald J. Kessler in 1978, sounds scary. As we put more and more satellites into orbit, collisions become more likely, and every time a collision happens, more debris is produced. The fear is that eventually, there will be so much debris that collision is inevitable, leading to a runaway positive feedback loop that can only be halted by ceasing the launch of spacecraft entirely. And that's a genuine concern, but it's a concern for the longevity of satellites in low Earth orbit, not space travel entirely. See, for a satellite to be cost-effective, it needs to remain operational for a reasonable chunk of time. And if the likelihood of collision is sufficiently high that low Earth orbit satellites are not expected to survive for longer than a few years, that calls into question the efficacy of the satellite placement. But that doesn't mean that there's an impenetrable wall of space debris. There's over 170 million pieces of space debris bigger than one millimeter in size hanging out in low Earth orbit, but space is huge. It's so huge that there is, on average, 10 kilometers of space between each one of these pieces. And even if we unknowingly cause the worst case scenario where satellites can't survive in low Earth orbit for more than, say, a few months, there would still be plenty of room for spacecraft to fly through low Earth orbit to either drop satellites off higher or to continue deeper into the solar system. The message is that we should be careful not to pollute our nearby orbits, but even the worst case scenario isn't a doomsday.